I got this bad boy on the mill and uh, I can't spin it. <laughs> it's too heavy for me. So now I'll try <coughs> to see if I can make some sort of uh, fancy solutions. Yeah. Yeah, that was halfway round. <laughs> that was heavy. <sighs> Hello, folks. Just a little bit of my uh, thoughts on the Woodman Mill. I must say, I'm not associated with the company in any form or way. This is purely my opinion. I am surprised of the quality. Um, the, the quality after sewing, yeah, you can see here. I don't think I'm going to need to do planing, just sanding. I could have bought a bigger mill. I wish I had. But it's always like that, isn't it? Um, this here lock is, uh, yeah, it was maxing out the distance and the height. So I had to cut off on the sides. And let's see how much it is. This one is 48 centimeters. It's 19 inches and down there it's yeah around yeah 40 and 16 inches something like that and I've been cutting uh, these logs or these kind of logs it's pine and it's green logs they were yeah taken down in uh, from mid December to mid-January uh, where I got them delivered and uh, yeah, today it's not it's just around minus but most of the work I've been doing has been in frost so they are frozen as well um, I'm really pleased how the work with the mill is easy there's no hiccups, there's, uh, there's no difficulties or anything uh, and I'll, I'll move the camera in so you can see the, uh, the quality of the cuts I do. Yeah, if you take a look at this it is yeah clean as a whistle
Yeah, enough talking. Let's get sewing. I need to do two one and a half inch thick floorboards before I'm down in around seven inches on the lock that I'm going to build my cabin uh, from. half inch cut and let's have a look what it looks like heavy like I don't know oh. <laughs> yeah you can see out here where the water's dripping on the the uh, the saw it's uh, freezing up but the quality yeah now the sun comes out now it's even more obvious I'll bring the camera over here to another angle so you can see the quality of the cut it is I am amazed how good it is it is soft as silk yeah I have to drag them up here I can't lift them The size of these. <laughs> My God, I'm I'm a happy man and glad I bought that saw. It's great with the sawmill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to transport that big boy there. And I thought, because we had a blizzard a couple of days ago and it's been frost, but now it's like plus one, plus two. I thought I'll transport it up before it turns into a mud hole again. But yeah, I just examined a bit of it, the wheel tracks. They are all ice. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. They're gonna go all the way up there. As you can see, the sledge is just wide enough. I made it, I think it was 60 wide. And uh, I'm gonna 
give this a couple of screws and hope it stays in place. Yeah, I am going to make the strap longer than usual so I can get up on top of the bump and uh, hopefully get this big boy up. They slide real easy. No problem at all. number 26 and uh, today I'm only gonna do yeah, I've done two now and uh, that's all I'm gonna do today I'm gonna give them all of them yeah I made some uh, tags and I already tagged all the other the other logs i made some tags like this small piece of vinyl uh just with a number i'm gonna clamp it on and uh, today i'm gonna measure all the logs in uh, in the butt end and the top and the middle and try to calculate how many more I need to saw for the walls <coughs> and uh, those uh, that way of doing it also make it easier to uh, find out which log are similar in height for each round on the four walls and uh, I've been watching along um, on the Bearded Carpenter on YouTube. He's a brilliant craftsman and uh, been building log cabins for yeah, 30 years or more. And he's uh, the last one he, he put up on YouTube. He make a lot of... Uh, yeah, what can you call that? He shares a lot of his uh, experience and a lot of the ways that he's doing it. And for me, as a first timer ever in building a log cabin with half dovetail knots hewn, um, that's pure gold. And uh, I want to uh, 
take the opportunity to say thank you to the bearded carpenter for sharing your craftsmanships, your ideas and your good tips and uh, keep up the good work my man I'm loving it My locks are still frozen, but uh, it was such a lovely day today. No wind, blue skies and sunshine. <laughs> yeah, not just here, but uh, it was time to do this. Peeling the bag off. And uh, of course, when all this is done, before I start do anything else to the locks, I'm gonna go over them with the draw knife and take off this, yeah, <laughs> this cambrium layer. But, uh, I love the smell of it. 